I see you somewhere off in my dreams. Put my mind at ease just to see you in reality. Hey, Welcome to another episode of Tapped In Reviews. Today I got a special guest. I don't know you, your man. Hey, what's your boy Mookie Montana, aka the South Kid, man? Man, you finally can't do the Tapped In Reviews. For sure, man. bro. For sure. Finally so, got here. Today, man, we trying some. It's old, but it's new. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that, it came out like in 2012, but Jamie Foxx literally just bought the uh, Brown Sugar Bourbon brand, mm -hmm. and now it's here. So we're reviewing Brown Sugar Bourbon, mm -hmm. and Jamie Foxx owned it. Like he he owned it, owned it. Now the people that make it, they still do everything, but he owned it. Right. That's what, that's the that's the boss move. Yeah, but a little bit about this man. It's a 30 percent alcohol by volume, which I mean, it's a 60 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, it ain't too much about it. I mean, brown sugar burger, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of sweet. Like, any dark liquor, but with some more sweetness, man. Okay, okay. So, while I crack this thing open, you can tell the people what you normally drink. Like, you go into the liquor store, what you get, man? Uh, for sure, I got to get Jose, you know what I'm saying, some type of tequila, bro, because uh, I mess with them. I mess with the Hispanics and the Mexicans all, bro. <laughs> like, they put me on the tequila, and it just, it, it give me what I be looking for, you know? Man, I be on that tequila, too. That's, that's like one of my go-to tequila. Yeah, for sure. That Jose, that, that, that golden, that brown, you know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? That, that, that's actually one of my favorite tequilas, but crazy. I'm going to stop drinking it because I was on TikTok and somebody told me that it ain't 100% tequila. What is it? It's a, it's tequila, but usually when you make tequila, it's going to say 100% blue agave on the, uh, on the bottle. Okay. The gold bottle don't got 100% blue agave. It just said made with blue agave. Oh, okay. But that's just on some TikTok stuff, man. Mm -hmm. So I done pulled us up neat, man. So normal on tap interview, we swirl around, give it a smell. Okay, see how people think. What it do when you swirl around and unlock it or something? Unlock yeah, yeah, yeah okay, unlock, okay. unlock. <laughs> oh my God, this shit. What it smell like, man? Oh, I can't put my finger on it. I know what it is, though. Man, it smell like some type of pastry or pie or some shit. Uh -huh. Smell like you gonna like it. It like a fucking bed, bath and beyond, like a bed, bath and beyond, like <laughs> brown sugar stove or something. Yeah, like yeah, like <laughs> yeah, for sure. It smell like some 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 shit they take a bath with. They gonna go take a toast, man. What you want to toast to, man? Oh man, just growth, man. Success, bro. Man, so you can just taste it. You ain't gotta take all of it. You uh, know. Just taste it. Okay, yeah. good. Enough, so I can taste it. Okay. What you think about it? I'm like, I gotta keep hitting it. Come on. <laughs> it ain't bad, man. Mm. It's a. Uh, it's it's bold, like it's. <laughs> oh shit! That shit got an after kick, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm tasting it on my tongue a little bit too hard or something. Probably so. I mean, but like, usually, like. It got like a. It, I mean, this shit tastes just like brown sugar. Like, yeah. it tastes like uh, turkey or something at Thanksgiving <laughs> or something. You know what I'm saying? Like. It do it do taste like Thanksgiving. I ain't gonna lie. Do, but. Bro. You know what? I ain't gonna say nothing about it just yet. I'm gonna, we gonna try it on the rock. So, right. I don't swear it around. Right. So, usually, like, uh. Man, putting something on ice, it can change it a lot, man. Yeah, so for sure. We we gonna we gonna see. And hey, the smell still the same. Yeah. I'm trying to get it the cool out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> we know what it tastes like warm and hot. Let's uh, let don't give a toast. I'm gonna give a toast to uh the sauce key if I don't tap their view, man. For sure, nigga. I should have tapped I should have toasted it first. <laughs> It blend, it thinned it out a little bit to me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like I said, it ain't bad, but it just tastes like yams. It tastes like <laughs> I can eat a plate of yam with these motherfucking just, yeah. you know. I mean, it's alright though. It's I mean, all right. it's uh, it seems like it's sneaky though. Yeah, like it, like it, like it's so sweet, but then it just uh, hits. You. So let me tell you how Jamie Fox got on this man. He was at a party. Right, mm -hmm. and this man had a couple bottles of this, and you know it was cheap and uh, passing around. People was liking it, mm -hmm. and then he he just like you know what I'm gonna buy it, the whole brand, and that's pretty much how he got his name behind. Mm -hmm. He had it at a party. He was like the reason he didn't go the tequila route like a lot of other celebrities do is because he wanted something that kind of matches personality, something fun, easy to drink. Mm -hmm. It ain't expensive. It just 
it just meshed with him, and that's why he chose. Okay, yeah. And then he a party nigga, so I know a lot about Jamie Foxx. I be studying Jamie Foxx too. Like he'll he'll like throwing parties. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he really a party going nigga. So for him to just invest in this right here, it must be something about it to keep you going. Like yeah, you know all night, but. I like it though. It ain't it ain't bad though. It ain't bad at all. Alright, so we're gonna rate this thing. So usually on tap in reviews, we rate everything one to five. One being trash, five being like the best thing you ever had in your life. Mm-hmm. So okay. uh and you do neat and on the rock, so uh I'll let you go first. What you what you rate it with with no ice? What you rate it with? Uh, with no ice and I mean, five. just because I don't really, I'm scared of sweet drinks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, consistently drinking them, I'll probably give it, like, a three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like this. But, like, with, with it on the rocks, me just sipping it, it ain't got to go nowhere or do nothing. Shit, I'm going to give it a five because it's just. You will drink I, that old tequila? I, I would if I'm just at home chilling, you okay, know what I'm saying? I'm because because what it's doing to me. Now, see, I, I like the taste, but I got to feel the vibe of it. Like, what it tastes like, what it's doing to your body. Is it making you tired? Like. Yeah. You know, or, or is it getting you up? But to me, it feel like it's, it's cranking me up a little bit. So I'm going to hit it again just so I can make sure it's a five. All right. So let me give it a rating. And Jamie Foxx sure. might not like my rating. <laughs> oh. So listen, if y'all, everybody that's at home, y'all like drinking sweet stuff. Mm-hmm. I say get it if yeah. you like sweet It's stuff. super sweet. Yeah, it's, super it, sweet. It, it's sweet. A little too sweet for me. Mm-hmm. So like, if I just had to rate it on just other flavored whiskeys and bourbons, I, I didn't had like my top flavored whiskey. I love Crown Apple. Okay, okay, okay. I, Crown Apple is like my five in flavor whiskey. Okay, yeah. This yeah. right here, I'm a. I'm gonna give it a two point five. Two point five out to my with off the rocks. Or with, Both. Both. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. just a, it's a two point five mainly because of my taste. For it sure. It ain't bad. It's For just sure. A little too sweet. It's a little too sweet. And that's what I was saying. I think that that's why I said it seemed like he a more party going nigga. Like put the ice in there, let the ice melt. It's so thick that by the time the ice melt, it's like it's it's like it's watering it down a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a mixed like joint. A, yeah, it's already. Oh god, it's a mixed drink like. I don't know, yeah. It's straight, though. Like you said, it's, it's sweet. Straight. Like, y'all, it, it is sweet. So, if you like... It's super sweet. Like, this right here, I mean, oh, my God. Like, with the ice on it, it's it's a little bit better. Yeah. But, like, with this, I don't even want to hit that no more because, like you said, it, it got the taste on my tongue, like brown sugar. Like Yeah. Like, it's just... It's all right. But, oh, let me tell you the price. Price, it wasn't them, like, $20. So, you ain't going to mm. break the bank for a whole fifth of this. Mm. For, for $20, man. Like, Jamie Foxx... It, it's straight juice. It ain't my it ain't my cup of tea, but it kind of tastes like tea. I seen a recipe where it say like you can mix this with lemonade. It might be good. Mm. That yeah, shit man. crazy though. But I mean, I like tequila. But I'm gonna say this: it ain't got no strong kick to it. It had like a little after kick to it because I guess because I was tasting a little bit too hard. But like, it ain't got like that. Like oh, like you want to shake when you hit it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got that. <laughs> so usual on tap their reviews, man. Everybody share a two turn story, man. Okay. You got a time where you been drinking a little too much and you, you got turnt, man. Like Oh yes, sir. Yes, I, sir. I think last time I got too turnt, it was uh probably a couple of weekends ago, man. I was drinking gin. But it was good. Right. But anyway, man, that like you got you got a two turn story you wanna share with the people? Man, I was at uh, I don't know if they remember the old Mr. B's. You remember the old I, Mr. B's? I remember Mr. B's. I I was at the old Mr. B's. I used to have a, a, a Buick with some rims on it, like some twenty twos on it. So I went to the club. You know, I'm performing. So I was drinking. That's when I first really would just start drinking heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was I can't remember what I was drinking, but I was drinking, drinking, drinking. And my brother had came to the club, and he was telling me he was like, "Man, I'm gonna leave with you, bro, uh, when we get ready to dip or whatever." So, nigga, I'm on stage. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. I get off stage, nigga. I'm just like, this is my I'm like, oh, my man. Like, what am I doing, bro? <laughs> nigga, I hop in the car. Nigga, I left my brother at the club. I'm all outside the car, throwing up uh, while I'm driving. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, brother, that was, to me, that was like, like, like just too out of, I don't be like that. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't, when I go out, I be on point. Like, I don't like to get too drunk. Like that, uh, that right there. Well, you said Mr. B, so you had to be yo. Whew, how old you were about? Twenty uh, two. 
Yep. <laughs> about 22. I might have been a little younger than that. I might have been like 20, just turning, I think I was just turning 21. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that I was just drinking heavy. Like, you know, we were younger, we were drinking a little sip or whatever. We, you know, people drinking around, but when I turned 21, I was just yeah. gorgeous, like gulking. And then, bro, that night, I said, nah, never again. Man. I think it was some Hennessy. I think it was some hit. Then the club was hot. Yeah. Ooh, we ain't know nothing about drinking then. Yeah. Man, listen, I do not fool with Hennessy. Anybody that watch this channel, they know. You know I don't, I don't, Why you don't like Hennessy? Oh, I feel like it's overrated. Okay. For sure. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that's it. I feel like it ain't like good, man. I don't like Kanye. What about Duce? Duce, I mean, I drink it, but Kanye ain't something I'm buying. Normally, I'm buying tequila. Yeah. Whiskey or wrong. Yeah, for sure. Kanye the last thing I'm buying. So like I ain't buying Hennessy or Duce. What about Not the champagne? You like the fucking uh Bell the Bel Air and uh So I had to I did a review on the Blue Bel Air. It okay. was straight. I wouldn't get it all the time, probably would get it no. for like a, a celebration. That's yeah, not yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Just so a pop I'll, bottle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The blue one was straight. Yeah, but Nah, you know, man. It just, it tastes like the rest of them, but just tastes blue. Like <laughs> I'm looking for something else. Like, Good. You know what I'm saying? And I can I'm gonna put you on some before before we leave, man. I okay. got I got some stuff that you might want to try. You like okay? I will uh, try this. All it's right, gonna bet. taste better than uh Bel Air. I swear. Bet, bet, bet. But listen, y'all. Everybody that's watching, make sure y'all stay tuned for the interview with Mookie Montana. Uh, and if y'all looking for brown sugar bourbon, aka Jamie Fox bourbon, it's gonna be. It's somewhere, because he ain't paying me to, to get his review, so y'all go find on y'all all the time. <laughs> Make sure y'all click that like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe, and uh, make sure y'all go cop milk and Montana music on all streaming platforms, mm -hmm. and make sure y'all stay tuned for the interview, man. And that's been another episode of Tap Interviews, and we sure. out. Yes, sir. It's on the book, that's just a man talking, that's just a man talking.